Hey my beauties, thanks for taking a minute to stop on my channel and today I want to do a video about a recent skincare set that was a complete fail and I'm really disappointed. Today I'm going to talk about the e.l.f. skincare set. Uh, this was a very specific set. I bought it in a three-piece little package and I'm really excited that I bought it in the trial size so I could give it a try and I didn't spend a whole lot of money on the full-size products because this skincare set is just it's just a complete fail as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, e.l.f. products really aren't that high priced anyways. They're basically drugstore prices. e.l.f. has come a long way. I remember when it first came out and usually all of the products were really not long lasting, really good products like they are now. I mean, they have some really well reasonably priced products that really do good jobs. I mean, I did a video and a review on the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams um, limited edition cosmetics that they came out with. I'll link it up here that you can go and review it. And it was really a nice palette. It had a nice eyeliner that went with it, all the things. And I've since tried a lot of e.l.f. products that I normally, 10 years probably, I wouldn't have, 10 years ago, I wouldn't have tried them. So nevertheless, I was out and about and I happened to find a little, it was came in a little plastic set and it was the trio of your, your cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer. And I thought, oh, yay, I'm going to get to try this out because I'd been wanting to try it for some time anyways. When I went and got the e.l.f. Hydro Glow foundation, I was going to try it at that time and order it directly on their website. And I thought, nah, I'll just wait it out. So I happened to see it. So I got it. So there's that. Now, they do have an acne line that I have not tried. Um, I don't fall into that category. I do have a friend that I might ask to review that for us so we can see if all their skincare is like this or was it just the set that I got that just doesn't agree with what I like in a skincare set. Now, remember, these are just my opinions. This may work wonderful for you. And if you are on a budget, you do you. So the whole set was... So I wrote, made some notes. It was the mini set for $15 and it came with the super clarify cleanser with clarifying niacinamide. It came with a toner and it was a super tone, a toner with brightening alpha hydroxy acids. And it also came with a super hydrate moisturizer with hydrating squalene, all buzzwords in skincare. When you hear things like niacinamide, squalene, hydrating, these are all things that you want in your skincare. Everybody does. So I thought, great, this is going to be wonderful. So the first thing I started with, of course, was the cleanser. When I opened up the cleanser, the smell, it was the smell, the smell. <laughs> I really do not like products that have a very heavy scent. This reminded me a lot of the Juice Beauty skincare line. I did a review on that way back when, and I'll link that up here as well. This smelled exactly, exactly like the Juice skincare line. So if you like that scent, that scent, I it was such a such a very distinct scent. I would relate it to like a lemon green apple situation. Um, very heavily scented. However, it yeah, it didn't really hang around too much on my skin. And I'll tell you why, because it's the ingredients I used afterward that probably wiped out any of that scent. Now I do have dry, dry skin, dry aging skin. My husband has very oily skin. I asked him to try this because he's pretty picky as well. He didn't have a problem with this. In fact, he he really enjoyed it. Well, I, I continued to use it even though I didn't like the scent. I figured I could get past anything and just try it out. I gave it a good bit of time to try it. I found it slightly drying on my skin, which disappoints me because ain't no old girl out there wants to have her skin any drier because that'll really accentuate your fine lines. So I would never keep doing this. However, my husband, with his oily skin, he did not find it over dried or stripped his skin at all. In fact, he, he pleasantly enjoyed this, which is good. If you have really oily skin and you can get past the scent, you go right ahead. Now the retail price on this, if you were to get the full size, is only six dollars, which is incredibly affordable for a cleanser that has got some, you know, really good skincare uh, products in it, i.e., the niacinamide. So there was that. Then I tried the toner. Now the toner, the toner boasts that it's ten percent niacinamide, willow bark, and B five. This stuff smells so bad. I don't even know how else to put it. It's stinks. It smells, well, not medicinal. It smells chemical. I mean, ugh, let's just take another scent so I can make that ugly face again. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't even know what the hell that smells like, but it stinks. It stinks. But I used it anyways because I'm your girl and I wanted to see what it did. I didn't notice, like, when you use a good toner, you'll feel like maybe a little bit of stinging, which makes you know that you're getting away from, you're getting all that extra makeup and dirt and oil out of your pores. After I used this, it felt slightly sticky. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of sticky. And it was like, like I had an after feel. I didn't love that. I, I just didn't love that. So like I said, this came in my mini pack. If you were to buy the full size of this, if, if you like this, that's fine. I didn't. The full size on this was $10. Not bad at all for a toner. If it works for you, then I'll work for this girl. 
Now, the most intriguing product of this trio was the Super Hydrate Gel Moisturizer. It's plant made with plant-based squalene, says it has a smooth application and non-greasy. I disagree. This was the strangest product I've ever used. I was all excited at first when I opened it up and I thought, oh, it's a gel. I like gels because they're like a hydrator. You don't have to worry about them getting too greasy. Now, if any of y'all out there are my age or older, you'll know what I'm talking about. Do you remember way back when, when we used to get those cans of green slime? Do you remember slime? And even if you took a big hunk of it out or you pulled it or squeezed it or squat, stretched it, whenever you put it back in the little green garbage can it came in, it always went back to that same shape and you could never figure out how did it go back to that same shape? I am not lying when I tell you. Look at this. Okay, see how it's all smooth like that? Every time you tap into here, which I cannot stand a product where you have to use your fingers anyways, and it didn't come with a spatula because you're introducing bacteria, I would pull a scoop out like this. Like, look. Okay, see, look. Okay. Within about an hour, it snaps back into shape. It was the weirdest thing. All I could think of was slime from growing up. I'm not even kidding you. Couldn't get past that. But as far as a moisturizer, at first it felt good. You know, it had like, I thought, oh, you're only going to have to use a little bit of this. It's got great slip. It's going to go a long ways. How cooling. I could put this in the refrigerator. I had all these great ideas. Put it in the refrigerator. And then if I had a sinus headache, I could put it up here. Or it would just be cooling on my eye bags. You know, all the things. After you rub it in, the dang thing seems like it never rubs in. It was downright sticky. It was sticky or slimy. There was something left behind. There was residual left on my skin. Residual. I had. To, I didn't want to go ahead and rewash my whole stinking face because the cleanser was drying anyways. So I decided I would just put another moisturizer on, on top of it to try to get rid of that, that feel. I had laid down on my pillowcase and it was my face was like, it was tacky. It was like sticking to my face. It was the craziest thing complete fail for me. I, I don't know what the product has in it that makes it make that stickiness, but I didn't love it. It wasn't for me. Maybe I could use it as some kind of a hand product because I hate to throw, <laughs> throw away good products, but I am not putting this stuff back on my face ever again. I'm so glad I found a trial size of these three products because I wouldn't have wanted to waste any more money, even though it's a very inexpensive product. However, if you are interested in picking up this product for yourself, if you like it or you're just curious, the full size of this moisturizer is $12. Not bad at all either for a moisturizer, but you might have to use something else on top of it because the stuff is sticky. So again, like I said, I'm glad that I only paid $15 for this little trio because this was an epic fail for me. And if you like it, please, please don't not try this because of me. Um, you may have wonderful results with this. I did not. I couldn't stand the smell, be it from the lemony apple thing going on with this and then the downright funk with this. I don't know. It was a complete fail for me all around. Thank you if you managed to make it to the end of this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Phone's ringing. <laughs> please hit the subscribe button. Click the like button so that you'll get notified every time I post a video just like this one here. Thanks again and I will see you in the next one.